What's going on, you guys? It's Joby, and you just heard the Carl Martin Pro Series Plexitone. It's pretty hard to not like this pedal. Everything about this thing is sick. The only knocks I could really place against it are the fact that the gain levels kind of are useless once you get just beyond the halfway point. But in Carl Martin's defense, a lot of pedals seem to do that. Once you get past halfway, there's kind of nowhere else to go, and it just doesn't really get any dirtier. It just changes the tone maybe a little bit. The other thing is on this particular one, which is an older model, you have to plug it into the wall. So you're going to need a pedal board with some sort of AC socket in order to even put this thing on your board. Now I believe the new versions of this have a standard DC 9 volt jack, but I really wonder if that alters the amazing tone of this pedal. I mean, I feel like that's part of it. There's a huge transformer inside this thing, and I really think it's part of the sound, and I'm not sure if 9 volts could ever give you the headroom that you can get out of this thing. But I tell you what, I would sure like to try one and find out for myself because that's the only thing keeping me from putting this directly on my pedal board is I just can't be bothered with plugging the fucking thing in. And yes, before you even start typing, I am fully aware that there are many pedal boards and many power supplies that offer sockets on them to plug pedals like this in. It really kind of just annoys me, and I don't want to go through it. I myself am probably just going to keep it on a shelf and use it for recording. It should be noted that I was playing an SG with humbuckers for this demo, but if you'd like to hear it played with single coils, and remarkably well, I might add, I could totally recommend Pete Thorne's demo of this pedal. Anyway, my overall opinion of this pedal is that if you don't mind the fact that you have to plug it in, you really could not go wrong buying one of these things if you can find one on the cheap, which they're not particularly cheap. They're not crazy expensive, but they're not particularly cheap either. I got this one super cheap because it had a broken pot. I fixed the pot, got myself an awesome pedal for an awesome deal. Anyways, that's it for now, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, it'd be cool if you'd leave me a like. If you would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing. Peace. Take it easy.